Wow. Welcome back to Golden Aesthetics. This is one of the most surreal experiences in my life. I'm here at 360 Ranch in the wilderness of Northern California with Mark. He's a Marine, very experienced and professional sniper. He's teaching me how to shoot long range, something that I always admired, something I was always wanted to learn. It's a surreal experience and I'm really happy to share this with you. We're here for three days. Uh, tomorrow we go hunting. There's gonna be a lot of knowledge dropped into you. I'm very, very excited to share this and go through it myself, really, to live through this experience. It's one of a time thing. I guess the way I look at you is like, your whole life is bodybuilding, working out, training people, teaching people about, you know, fitness. fitness. My whole thing is the same thing you do in a sense, like teaching this to people, but with uh, woodsmanship skills and hunting skills. So with this, we got to start with the basics. Um, so if there's anything I'm teaching you, don't be offended. I've, I've taught the same stuff to Canadian snipers that have been in for 10 years just two weeks ago, right? Like mm -hmm. 20 years, some of them. So, and you always learn something new. So I will start from the very basics of rifles and stuff like that, but we have two days to do long range. If you're falling in love with it, we could always push it a little bit more, but I definitely want to do two days long range, a day of pistol, a solid day of pistol, do a little bit of hunting. That way we can start processing game. Um, it's pretty much a day of survival. So we're not gonna build shelters, but we will start friction fires. We will uh, learn how to purify water. We will lear we'll learn uh, uh, some signaling stuff. So it's not all the fun stuff, but it's all the stuff that's gonna keep you alive. And that's what I wanna try and teach you in four days. And then from here, where you would go is you'd see, okay, what specialty do I really wanna focus on? All right, so first things first, so go ahead, get in a good prone position. But even before you get on target, go ahead and load that magazine in your gun. Look in on the target, get nice and comfortable, perfect, operate in the bag. Okay, rack, do not take your head off the gun, stay just like that, rack the bolt. Do it again. 12 clicks down. Ah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. Nice. Go to the next one. This is to all the vegans out there right now. I'm going to shoot a wild boar and we're going to eat it afterwards. <laughs> hey, this is my very first hunt in my life. I never hunted before. I always wanted to do it. I saw my grandpa do it with his, uh, with his old rifle. Today I'm, I'm going to shoot a wild boar. We're preparing right now uh, a little target so I can get warmed up and go for it. Let's get it. Dude, thank you so much, by the way. By the way, this is two of the fucking badasses. I, I wasn't sure if I could show their faces because they're that, bad, that badass. But this is Mark and Joe. They are, they are professionals of their business. And if you ever want to shoot, learn how to shoot a, a rifle, how to hunt, how to survive in the mountains, this is the guys right here. Let's Thanks, get it. Man. Good shot, good hunt, and now it's time to process it, right? So, 
This is Joe. He's one of the most amazing human beings I've ever in my life. He's a professional hunter. And as you can see, he's also a professional cook. He probably should have his own I restaurant. I saw this on TV one time. <laughs> he also has a good sense of humor. Dude, this is the pork that we hunted yesterday, and it looks fucking delicious. Look what he did. Look, this is like... That's uh, rosemary. Rosemary. Look at this steak, man. It's all in field, bro. Absolutely incredible. This uh, look at this. Look at this. You gotta see this. This is the best dinner I've ever had. And after I have this dinner, I'll probably have three naked girls laying in my in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> this is how. This is what an amazing yeah, experience. Yeah. The 360 Ranch has been super, super hospitable to me. Joe High Country is probably one of the best cooks and one of the best hunters I've ever met. Same thing with Mark. Mark has been um, very generous to me with the experiences and things he taught me. This is something I hunted. Hunted. This was. The, I mean, it was hunt, but you know, that th that is. I'm a, I'm I'm a newbie. You know, I've never done this before in my life, but seeing this table and tasting this meat and the way Joe cooked it, Joe is a fucking mm -hmm. amazing cook. When I saw him putting these things on fire, that was one of the things. You, you will never see anything like this in your life. Uh, I can't wait to try this, and I truly appreciate the experience from the very bottom of my heart. Mark and Joe, this is for you, man. Thank you so much. Hey, good morning, everyone. You know I'm famous for steak and eggs, but today we have something different. Heart and eggs. I never tried heart in my life. This is my first time eating heart, especially heart of an animal that I killed myself. There is something very spiritual, very symbolic about it. So we're going to slice it up, mix it with onions, and add some eggs. Normally, I would probably just eat it raw, but this is what we got to cook. I should make a show, a cooking show. A little bit of garlic, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of sea salt. Let it cook for a little bit. So, I hope I don't become a hog after I eat this. <laughs> wow. Very good. That's your me of liver, but a little harder. But that stays amazing. Good morning, everybody. Today we're doing a pistol course with Shooting Survive with Mark. He's a professional when it comes to guns. I absolutely love my alpha, man. I feel like a fucking movie character. I'm going to show you how to use guns, how to shoot guns, how to draw a gun, how to reload the gun, how to aim properly. Uh, this is a new world for me. I've never done anything like this before, so I'm going to be learning this along with you. Let's get it. Now my nickname is the Juice. Shout out Christy, I'm a Gucci house. Getting in the cool. Tell my butter sound. Seeds have been dreaming since a young and ripping Alabama. But that's where they love me. Out in Europe, here we go. One more time for the ones who did it. I learned a lot of new things today. Usually when you watch action movies, you think everything is so simple. You just draw the gun, you pass the target, you shoot it. You that, That's all false. You know, today I've picked up some really good skills, even in the last 20 minutes that Mark explained me how to draw a gun, how to point the gun, how to take it off switch, how to reload the gun, and how to put it back. So the technique goes like this. You reach out to your holster, draw the gun, it's already pointing in the target without pulling it up or pointing out this way, right? So when you point the gun, 
it has to be already straight into the target. You push it out whilst taking it off switch, take it off straight to switch, you point it straight into the target, you pull the trigger, you hit the target, and then you look around to make sure you're safe, put it back at safety, and you put the gun back in holster. That's a proper technique. I probably didn't execute it correctly yet, but I'm going to really, really work on it. It's, it's, this knowledge will probably save your life at some point. Slow. Nice. Finger off the trigger. That's what I'm talking about. And look at where that shot was. Perfect. Yeah. Just shooting, hitting this. That is a damn good group. Fitness. Technical training under stress mixed with fitness. Let's get it. Fire. Yes, sir. All right, get it ready. Stand by. Yes, sir. I will never forget. Right on. I really appreciate that. One day, it will save my life. My life out of things. Right on, man. Woo! Good training. That was sick. I like it. Right here? Yeah, dude.
So this is the last part of my long range shooting glass course with Mark. This is 1760 yards. The target is all the way out there. I barely can see it with my naked eye. If I shoot that motherfucker, I'm a certified badass. There is something incredibly sexy about this rifle, about this outfit, about the field, about hitting a target at 1,760 yards. I got that target right in the head. It probably took me 10 to 15 shots to get the elevation right, to understand the winds, to understand how to work with a target in that length and that distance. Uh, as I said, there is some kind of a primal instinct about this. This is so incredible to hold this rifle, to be in the field, to work with the shots, to work with the bullets. Uh, God forbid I have to use it in a real-time situation, but I know one thing for sure I'm gonna continue improving. I'm gonna continue exploring this field I don't know how I'm gonna add in all this stuff because I can put in words or I can put in video the emotions and the feelings that I go through. I never hunted before. I never saw an animal through the scope. I never shot targets in the long range. I never used a pistol the way I did with Mark. Uh, enjoy high country. Um, the guy is living a truthfully an American tradition and I would love to replicate their lifestyle. I would love to replicate their culture of a true, real American that lives off the land, that lives in the high country, in the mountains, far away with no reception, with his kids, and he's raising them in the best tradition of America. I'm a patriot, and to be surrounded by people that love America the way I do, it's truly an incredible experience, and, and learn from them, and pick up the skills for survival, for hunting. I changed my entire mindset on hunting. I thought it was stupid. I thought it was dumb. I thought it was for rednecks. Absolutely not. This is the probably the real way of life, the only valid way of life. And leaving this place, leaving the 360 Ranch, um, I have a full backpack of experience, knowledge, and most importantly, American tradition. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let's get it.